Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. That's probably not how we're going to start it. Anyways. So we've been getting a lot of questions about our software-defined radio kit, how to use some of the things, what all, what all the things are and why we chose what we did. So we're going to go over that today and we're going to start a little vehicular exhibition, right? So we've got the SDR down here attached with some bands to my tourniquet. Not necessarily the ideal place for it, but it is a place that works. So RTL SDR dongle has a BNC to a main connector and the brief mounted antenna that we have on there. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Plug into the laptop and this laptop is running Ubuntu 16.04 and we're going to run GQRX for our monitoring software. Let's go ahead and turn that on, start monitoring. And here we go, we're getting some signals in here. Let's go ahead and tune it to a local radio station, although it seems like we're getting some traffic here. Maybe if we wait a bit, we might get something. So we've gone ahead and tuned to one of the local FM radio stations. This is gonna be 96.1. We'll go ahead and select a wider filter width. Move that over the station. And we got our demodulation going. Some groovy music, but who cares? This is in a vehicle, right? We're not always gonna be in a vehicle, so let's go ahead and disattach this, take the SDR out, put it back into the case, and step out of said vehicle. So, another one of the things that we have with this comm setup that I have on these two things, I have two radios. This one is a UV5R. It is running to this push-to-talk right here that would normally go into headset. This is a Yaesu FT4X. And the reason these aren't switched around is because I have yet to get a push-to-talk for the Yaesu, because Yaesu decided to be very, very nice and not make a standard Kenwood adapter, but make the pins smaller and the pinouts proprietary. So you have to get a different speaker mic for it, which kind of sucks because I can't use my other push to talks with this. So that's going to be in progress. But on the ASU, we also have a BNC adapter going to a Nagoya NA771. We're just going to go ahead and quick detach from there and plug it in to the RTL SDR. As far as monitoring and comms go, let's go ahead and throw this all back on. We're gonna be using an Android phone in our covert mount that's in our dangler pouch. So, go ahead and pull that out of there, flip it out, zip up the dangler pouch, the admin pocket, and get our USB OTG cable. Plug it into there, into the phone, magically unlock it, and start monitoring. Analyze our application. So let's go ahead and turn that on. RTL SDR driver is running, and now, as you can see on here, we have SDR hooked up with a mobile rig inside of a dangler pouch. All nice, confined, small, and ready to go for whatever you want. We chose the different items for this kit so you could do things like this. So you could quickly go from listening to things in a vehicle and take that same equipment, not have to buy everything twice, take it out, quickly put it onto your kit, put, in, put a different antenna on, and have the same exact capabilities on your person as you would in your vehicle. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, check out the website.